Some people have the ability to touch the masses. Brian King has the ability through his many works in television and film to touch the masses through his work. And it's because of chords and changes and rhythms and notes and progressions that actually touch the hearts of the viewers and the listeners. Music has no color. It has no color. So whether it's a, a white person scoring a black film or a black person scoring a white film, if you can can um, lend your talent and mesh the visual and, and what you hear and move people, that's what's most important. I've known Janice Dempsey for over 30 years. We met in the early 80s. We were in bands together. We played in Pentecostal churches together and gospel events. Uh, I went to her wedding. Um, and we're good friends. And um, Ada Dyer, the same thing. I've known her since the early 80s. We did gigs together, uh, recorded many gospel projects and other projects together. She's one of the top singers in New York. And we're close personal friends. Similarly, I've known about racism all my life. I have some family from the South who are racist. And um, it's, you know, sort of a, been a fact of life for my entire life. Um, but it's one thing to intellectualize racism and it's quite another to emotionally experience it. And in doing this project, I found out some things about Janice and Ada that I hadn't known, even though I'd known them for over 30 years each. I'm not sure if it makes us any closer because I'm still not the one experiencing it, but it sure makes me understand their experience a lot better. You know, I, I have, I've got a little bit of, of, of history with the subject um, coming from Chicago, which really, yeah, you know, there's a lot of, um, a lot of segregation and, and, and craziness that went on there and more so when I was growing up and, and where I grew up uh, on the south side of Chicago, uh, where my family was the, the first black family in this particular neighborhood. Um, and, you know, the people in the neighborhood weren't too happy to see us. So um, we went through quite a bit. My oldest sister was the first black to, to graduate from that grammar school in the neighborhood. And she would, uh, just to give you a little taste, she would need a police escort to school every morning she would have to be escorted by the police and and um and then just sort of went on from there uh didn't get a whole lot better um and that's again i i, I can probably write a book on some of the things that my family experienced um during that time um, but yeah so i know a little bit of something about something you know <laughs> 